Hi guys, welcome to the channel and today we're going to check out some amazing attacks using the new Lava Loom puppet at Town Hall 11 because guys, it is absolutely overpowered. So, let's check out three replays in just a moment. First of all, let's have a look at the hero equipment I'm going to be using. So, Spiky Ball and Earthquake Boots on the King, Magic Mirror and Giant Arrow on the Queen, and of course, Lava Loon Puppet, and I found it worked best with Eternal Tome on the Grand Warden. So, we've got three different air attacks today. Let's try and keep it as simple as possible. So, first of all, 13 Dragons, three Clone Spells, and two Rage Spells. Clan Castle Troops, some Balloons, or maybe a Yeti inside the Stone Slammer. The reason we've got those Clone spells because we're going to clone the lava loons at town hall 11 they are absolutely amazing so these are friendly challenges on hard mode now if you've got giant arrow the first stage of the attack is lining up your queen with either air defenses or air sweepers to do some damage with that giant arrow then use your king to help funnel into the base then we can start thinking about sending in the dragons and the stone slammer. Maybe try and snipe some targets with a stone slammer or put it in front of the main army. Then send in your dragons. If you can't get a stone slammer, don't worry. Just use what you've got. So there's Grand Warden with the dragons. Obviously try and use the ability quite early to protect as many dragons as possible. Then those lava loons will fly through the base. And we're looking to clone them, guys. Remember, they're going to go after the nearest air defense. The only thing you really need to watch out for is the enemy queen. Queen. You don't want your lava loons flying over the enemy queen, so try and be aware of that. Maybe send in your heroes to take out the enemy queen. Then clone those lava loons with the clone spells. And guys, they are just amazing with air attacks. So this piece of hero equipment was introduced recently. I think it is probably the best piece of hero equipment for the Grand Warden at Town Hall 11 with Eternal Tome. I really do. I think as you go up higher with the Town Hall levels, the Lava Loom Puppet does lose its effectiveness. But at Town Hall 11, it is absolutely sensational. I try and get it to at least sort of level 9 to start using it. That's when you get that second Lava Loom summoned when you use the ability. So there's our first attack. We're going to keep the same spells. There's no reason reason to change the spells but I want to put a bit of a different attack in for you with eight lava hounds just something that you can maybe show off a bit with in clan war league or war where your clan mates think what are they using eight lava hounds yes exactly guys so this one's a bit more to just show off to show what you can do so another friendly challenge on hard mode line up the queen with the base send that giant arrow through the base thank you very much and then we're going to think about starting the main attack. We've used the Queen ability nice and early there. And then over on the right hand side, we've sent in the King to take out that compartment. And now we can start thinking about the main attack. Remember, obviously have a look where those air sweepers are appointed and remember those lava hounds will go to the air defenses as well so we're doing a bit of preparation here with the heroes taking out some of the base about a third of the base baby dragon on the left hand side and now the spam attack begins send in your lava hounds send in your stone slammer and of course the grand warden use the grand warden ability when those lava hounds are thinking about moving on to the next defense and then you've got the lava loons to clone again sometimes it might be a bit difficult to clone the lava loons there might be some other troops there just sort of wait for them to get ahead of the main army and then clone them is this one of the most powerful attacks at town hall 11 probably not guys but just something different for you to use it's still going to hopefully get you three stars those lava loons are absolutely sensational as i keep saying use those clone spells the lava hounds will help out help distract the defenses and the lava loons will do lots of damage and if you are new to the channel by the way we do have another replay in just a moment but if you are new to the channel, what I try and do is find nice, easy to use attack strategies for the casual player. So if that does interest you, remember to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Join the Samus army for more videos like this. So it's not as quick as the last attack because obviously lava hounds do take their time, but it's still effective. It's distracting those defenses and the lava loons are doing a great job at dealing damage. All I would say is maybe with this attack, try cloning the lava loons, sort of stagger that cloning ability throughout the battle so you don't have the lava loons vanishing off the battlefield because remember if you do clone a lava loon it will vanish eventually if it isn't destroyed and guys just look how many lava hounds we've got left we've got loads have we got any lava loons i don't know if they're at the bottom of the map but yeah guys this was a very satisfying attack strategy something a bit different for town hall 11 might be worth practicing a bit with this one if you are going to use it for clan war legal war but like i said it's one of those attacks that if your clan mates see it they think what's going on why are they using eight lava hounds so just something to maybe show off a little bit 
But like I keep going back to, guys, Lavaloon Puppet is sensational at Town Hall 11, so I really think you should be using it. Our last attack, then. Everybody likes Electro Dragons, so we've got eight Electro Dragons, two Baby Dragons, and again, we're keeping with the same spells. There's no point me changing these spells, because you want those clone spells for your Lavaloons. Definitely, guys, at Town Hall 11. So on to the next attack. Let's have a look. Do a bit of preparation work again. Where are we going to send in the Queen? And guys, I always think a good attack is like baking a cake. You need to get the ingredients right, stir them together, put it in the oven for a certain amount of time for a beautiful cake. It's the same with an attack strategy. You need to do some funneling, send in the heroes, get ready for the main attack. Especially with air attacks as well, with dragons or electro dragons, you need to funnel them into the base. Otherwise, they'll be going around the edge of the base and six or seven of them attacking a gold collector or something like that. So there on the right hand side, we've got Dave the electro dragon helping funnel the main electro dragon army into the base. There's a grand ward and again, do remember, those lava loons are going to be going towards the air defense. So we've got one air defense there. Have we got any more left in the base? Where are those lava loons going to go when we've used the ability? And I think we've taken them all out now. So the lava loons will just move on to the next defense. So we use the Grand Warden ability there. The lava loons go after the compartment on the left-hand side. So guys, yeah, I was really impressed with this hero equipment. I think it's an amazing addition to the game, especially for lower Town Hall levels. Like I said, I think as you go higher up in Town Hall levels, sort of Town Hall 15, Town Hall 16, I think it becomes less effective. But at these lower Town Hall levels, 11, 12, 13, it is absolutely amazing. And we're cloning those Lava Loons now. So I'd like to know your thoughts. Let me know in the video comments. Have you got this piece of hero equipment yet? The Lava Loon Puppet. Will you be getting it? What do you think? Do you think I'm wrong? Do you think it's not as powerful as I'm saying? All I would say to give it a chance, at least get it to level 9 when you get that second Lava Loon. Because it does make a massive difference. So guys, I do hope you've enjoyed the video today. Remember to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Join the Samus Army for more videos like this. And do remember on this channel as well, we do have something called a Creator Code. That's where you can help support your favorite content creator in-game by using their code before making any purchases. Any support would be amazing, and you do need to renew it once a week. Anyway, good luck. All the army copy links in the video description. Remember to practice your funneling, and I'll see you later, guys. Take care. Bye.